good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i've got a quick video that'll help you with your 3d prints so let's get cracking friends a user reached out asking me how they could modify this with tinkercad it is of course on thingiverse so you can download it but when you do download it it's one part and this part was too complex to bring into tinkercad now if you look at it it does have a Creative Commons license, so that means as long as we give attribution, which of course right now I'm going to say thanks again to Dragon Jaw for creating it, then we can play with it. So friends, let me show you how we can bring it into Tinkercad. So of course, I downloaded the file. If we choose import, let me show you the error that you get. Here is the file arm STL and it tells us the problem is that it's too large. Well, I've got a way that you can fix that. Let me show you what you have to do. Friends, the way to fix that is in Mesh Mixer. As you can tell, friends, it's Autodesk Mesh Mixer. It is an awesome program, but it's not being worked on anymore. You can still find a download link. When you get in here, let me show you the first step. We're gonna choose Import, and we're gonna grab that arm. Now remember, it told us the file size was too large, and that's just because of how complex this is. So we're gonna use one of the features. I'm gonna do Control A to grab the entire shape, and then I'm gonna do Edit, and I'm going to Reduce. I don't want to lose any of the characteristics of my design, so I just let it do it with its default, which I'll show you those numbers in a minute. You can see there were half a million triangles, and it's going to try and cut that down by 50%, but it's saving the shape. So there I have done that, friends. Now I'm going to accept it, and then I'm going to do File, and I'm going to Export, and I want to export it as a binary STL. I'm gonna put this back in that download folder and I'm gonna call it ARM2. Now when I hit save, I can return to Tinkercad. Let's try that import again, choose file. This time we're grabbing ARM2. Notice now the file size is fine, but there are too many triangles. So we're just gonna close this, return to our project. Under edit, we're gonna reduce it again. It goes through the tries, it reduces it, it still stayed with the pretty much same shape. I have no complaints there. I'm gonna do file export. I'm gonna call this one arm three. Let's backspace and delete that. And let's give it one more shot in Tinkercad. All right, so rinse and repeat. This time we're gonna do import, choose file. Once again, friends, we are doing edit, reduce. Let it do its math. Make sure we hit accept and then file, export. We'll call this one ARM4. And bounce back to Tinkercad fast and try that import one more time. ARM4, bingo. We've got it. I'm gonna keep all the measurements and bingo, there it is. It is your drone arm. I'm gonna rename this so I don't lose it. And now you can use all the cool skills in Tinkercad to cut it up and mod it just the way you want. Now, friends, if you haven't used Tinkercad a lot, I'll make sure I have cards up above. I've got tons of lessons that'll help you become skillful in minutes. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks again to Dragon Jaw for creating this awesome part that we can work with. And I also want to say thanks to John for asking the question. It is a handy skill, and I'm hoping you guys find it useful as well. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.